Good morning. On today's install, I'm be doing Tuner Factor X's integrated tail light. It looks like a great piece, but did not come with any instructions. We gotta figure this one out. Overall, the the quality is really really nice. Um, would have preferred the unit to be red, just like the factory one, but. The smoke to it, smoke unit's not bad either. It will go with the, the theme of the bike at least. It's got the factory tail light connector here, which is great. But I'm not sure where these are going yet. So we'll get that figured out. Alright, let's get to it. First thing is first. Take off. Rear seat or rear cowl. Okay, so it appears that they are eight millimeter. They do not come with anything, any new ones. Move this, get this out of the way. These are 10 millimeters. Disconnect that. So that's a part. Of the only thing really keeping this in here push connector. Okay. There we go. Just do it by hand. For a comparison, uh, here's the Tuner Factory X. Here is the factory one. They look very identical on the rear at least. Sides are a little bit different. So we will see how they look, see how they perform. The simplest test is turn it on. The only thing I did was plug it in uh, just to take a look. Not bad. Of course, since the turn signals aren't hooked up yet. Get that. All right, let's continue on. All right, so these particular bolts are five millimeter. That's like a lot of them. That's already on the bike. Seat as always, it's ten millimeter. This back it looks like. Uh huh. Okay, so that's released. Just a single pin in there. I think uh, we should be able to lift, pull back this tab right here, a small little tab, and dewire uh, this connector so that way we can use this connector to stay in place. There we go. Very good. Okay, but we'll pull through. Okay, it's pulled out. Okay, I see. That's just for one. So we're gonna free this. Gonna free that. As easy as the first one because of how they ran this wire. But there we go, either way. I'm thinking that the way the taillight might be wired, 
Um, I, we, we might not need the return. Taking a wild guess right now that um, the grounds are connecting together and you just need the, the, the turn signal pulse based on these wires being yellow and blue. Uh, I'm going to take it the orange is probably a dumbass like me and drop it. dropped it. I'm going to assume that the yellow uh, goes to this orange and this blue goes to this lighter blue. So I'm going to go in one way. You got, I don't know, it's going to be hard to see, but you got these directional tabs that come out and you got directional slots right here also. That prevent you from putting it in a different way that it's not supposed to. It should just slide right in. To get this off, not much to it. Just gently put a little pressure on the wire and the connector. Very, very light pressure. It might take a couple times. go just lift it up just look at which way these little tabs are so it's not going to go in that way so I got to rotate it around and the tab is going to go slide right in here that's right in place now that that's done the temporary fit check Not sure if that's gonna work or not. Right here. Okay, so we know the light will come on. We've got brake light. What do we have? All right, that's it. Got the turn signal and have them on the correct direction. Hazards. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut her back off and get her wired up correctly. Uh, we disconnect these so I can route the wires correctly through here. I don't really need to disconnect that one because that one's already in place. Might need to finagle this a little bit, but there we go. I think tilting it helps us get it in place. Now we need to see if I need to leave. Probably gonna need to pull off the original uh, stay clips. on in place. So the original ones went under this main cable harness so I'm going to attempt to do the same thing. to have some shielding over these though. So if you can before you install them, I would definitely recommend running these through some sleeving just for a little bit of protection. So we're going to go ahead and put our bolts back in, our 8mm bolts. Snug. Doesn't need a whole lot. Put this back in place now. So, 
pay attention when you take these bolts off. There's two for your seat. So they're longer than the ones for this bracket. So make sure you don't use your seat bolts. There's a new whole bunch of torque. Don't need to strip or break the bolt. Alright, so that's in there. And the original harness ran through this gutter. It looks like wires are almost pre-bent exactly. Somehow pre-bent exactly for how they're being installed. just enough room to get those wires in place without putting a bunch of tension on the connector. Uh, it seems better to put the torch cycle wires in first and then <clears throat> the main harness uh, wire just to keep those down in place. Right now it's a little wobbly because I don't have that piece in, in place. So I think I'm going to have to use uh, the original bracket piece out of here, so it might, seems like you're going to have to take that out. Um, probably do a bolt or something later, so we don't have this piece down there. It's currently out. Just a but to get that out... This is this is the piece I I pulled out. Um, driver. Okay, there's that. Might also recommend getting some filler foam, some like uh, door edge foam, just to fill in that gap a little bit. Might be. Something I do later. But overall, I think it's a really good product. Really cleans up the rear end. Love it. Especially without having the foot pegs on there. Cleans that end up. A whole bunch of nothing down here. I know a lot of people like tidy tails, uh, but I think it looks terrible having a license plate sticking out here. Much prefer the factory Honda piece. Green is super clean now. Really, really, really clean. Gives it that concept bike look. Since I don't believe I've done a startup video, let's go ahead and get some shots of it on the rear. Break. That, that looks awesome. Yeah, I want to get that. And up more. I don't, I don't like how loose it is right there. It's not loose. And I, I never checked the factory one, so it might have been just the same exact way. I think I added some thick foam through here. Let me clean that up. Anywho.
quiets down once it warms up. It's about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still really loud, I'll tell you what. Thanks for watching. See you on our next episode.